Welcome. Please spend the next few minutes with me as I show you the power of eTakeoff. There are three versions of the software. Basic, a free plan viewer and printing tool. Advanced, with full feature takeoff. And Premier, our most powerful takeoff solution with the added power of user-defined construction assemblies. In this short video, I will demonstrate key features of all three versions. When you first open eTakeoff, your screen will look like this with the Getting Started page displayed in the main window. The Tip of the Day window provides fast and easy tips on how to use eTakeoff. It will be displayed each time you open eTakeoff unless you uncheck Show Tips at Startup in the lower left hand corner of the window. You will find that creating a project with eTakeoff is very quick because drawing files can be stored on your local computer or on a network server and they don't need to be first converted to TIFF format or copied from their original location. eTakeoff can process drawing files in their native formats and all measurements are stored separately in their own database with instant automatic backup. To create a project, first click the new project button in the project group. Next select the folder that contains your drawing files. This window will allow you to navigate to your project folder. If this is your first time using eTakeoff and you don't have any drawings available, then use the sample project provided for you in the eTakeoff samples folder. Click on the folder and then click OK. Add any optional project information you'd like. You can add description, location, and bid date, and then click OK. And finally, select the drawings you want in your project. Your project will be created and you will see the first drawing in the main window. You can access all your projects from the project list and all your, the drawings for the current project are available here in the drawing list. Let's take a look at the easy to use ribbon bar interface. The ribbon bar has multiple tabs across the top of the application. To learn more about any of the buttons, hover your mouse over the button and a tooltip will appear. For more detailed help, you can use the Context Help button here. First, click the button, then click on a tab, a group, or any button, and the eTakeoff Help system will appear. The Home tab is designed to give you access to the most used tools for projects, navigation, and takeoff. Here in the Project group, you can create a new project, open a current project, or edit the current project's properties. The Navigation group gives you access to zooming tools, plus drawing and page selections. You can perform a complete takeoff using the tools in the Takeoff group. You can perform Area, Count, Length, and Perimeter Takeoff using just these four buttons. You can also perform two-point line segment takeoffs or snap your lines to 90 degrees using polar mode. Edit a current measurement with the tools in the measurement edit group and set the scale for drawings and pages here. Explore the other tabs by clicking on them and then hover your mouse to get tooltip help. Below the ribbon are two control panels, one on the left and one on the right. The left control panel contains the trace list, drawing rotation, and the drawing list. The right control panel contains the quantity list and the measurement summary. We will see how all these controls work in just a minute. To navigate drawings, you can roll your scroll wheel forward to zoom in and backward to zoom out. Click and hold down both mouse buttons to pan the drawing. Now let's take some measurements and see what really sets you take off apart. You must first set the scale for the drawing you wish to measure. Click the Scale button in the Scale group. You can choose the scale from the standard scale list. You can type the scale in yourself, or you can calibrate the scale from two points on the drawing. Next, select the type of measurement trace to use from the four buttons in the Takeoff group. Choose Area, Count, Length, or Perimeter. Now, just point and click your mouse to take a measurement. You can see your results in the quantity list in the right control panel. Finish the measurement by pushing the Enter key or the letter S key on your keyboard. 
If you would like to add additional information for the measurement, such as a location, just push the letter D key on the keyboard and fill in the location description data. A very powerful feature of eTakeoff is the ability to create new traces on the fly as you do new measurements. These new traces then become a part of your customized trace list to be used over and over across all new projects and drawings. You do not need to recreate traces each time you start a new project. To use this feature, click Z key on your keyboard or right click the measurement and select Easy Trace Creation. You can quickly add a new trace name, choose how the measurement looks with line styles and color, and fill styles and color. If you want to save the new trace to your custom trace list, make sure this box is checked. Now, you have changed the default area trace to a custom trace and it is saved in the trace list for later use. You can select the area button again to take another area measurement or you could use the trace that was just created by double clicking it in the trace list. To continue taking more measurements with that same trace, you can use a shortcut key on your keyboard. You would push the N key for new measurement. Remember the tool tips we covered earlier each tip will give you the keyboard shortcut. Once you become familiar with the program, you should experiment with the preset traces that are here in the Templates folder. Some of these traces include powerful assembly capabilities. They allow you to measure area, length, and count, then add additional information to calculate unlimited quantity results. For example, you could measure the length of a wall, add height and other information, and calculate the stud count, drywall sheet count, and track length. Or in concrete, you could measure area on the drawing, add the depth, rebar type and spacing, and calculate cubic yards of concrete, lineal feet of forms, and total rebar weight, pieces, and length. eTakeoff even includes pre-built assemblies for difficult takeoff types such as grids, rolls, joists, and risers. eTakeoff allows you, the estimator, to easily create your own custom library of powerful assemblies with your own logic and formulas. eTakeoff does a great job of compiling your measurement results. The measurement summary accumulates all measurements on the current drawing. At the top of the measurement summary control is a button that will display the measurement list. The measurement list is similar to the measurement summary, however it lists all the measurements for the entire project, not just the current drawing. You can add new columns, sort, subsort, and total them. You can even save your own custom layouts. From here, you can copy and paste or drag and drop to other applications like Microsoft Excel. We've covered only a fraction of what eTakeoff can do for you. These and many more features are available in our advanced and premier versions. Click the Trial tab and then select Install 15 Day Trial to explore eTakeoff for yourself. Remember to use the workflow guide and the training videos on our website. Thank you.